Hey, what's happening? Hope you're doing well today. This is Jerry over at Wealth Dynamics. I'm coming at you with a real quick video. I'm on my way over to coach a client. One of my favorite people, Mr. Sean Item over at Hair Science Barbershop and Barber School. But I want to give you this real quick video today on how to not fall into negativity. Now, what I mean by this is uh, we all have people in our lives that are negative. No matter what, they're going to say something. They're going to be critical. They're going to be negative. They're going to be that way no matter what. And it's our choice on whether or not we interact and go with it and become negative also or if we keep ourselves cool. Now, this is one that I used to struggle with because I'm a prideful person. And so when somebody was negative, it wasn't my MO to just be negative. It was my MO to uh, intellectually and emotionally dissect them and leave their parts laying on the ground next to them. And so when somebody was negative, I would literally go at them like full bore. Not in like a, a violent or loud way, but in like an intellectual, tactful way where they left feeling just demoralized after the interaction with me. And I felt really good until I didn't. Okay, and so, so when you're negative, like what that does to you is more important than what you're doing to the other person. You might for a temporary minute be like, man, I got them. But at the end of the day, you created, listen to how I word this, you created an act of destruction. For that person you don't know what they're going through you don't know why they're being negative you don't know who told them what they said most of the stuff people are negative about is not even their idea they heard it from somebody else so when you're negative back you're not actually being productive in fixing the situation and the moment that you had responsibility to do that you failed so the way that you handle not falling into negativity not reciprocating not doing it back and retaliating is you have to be so far above it that it's impossible for somebody to commit a, if you would consider it a crime, like it would be impossible for somebody to commit a crime against you. Like you have to be untouchable. Now I'm not saying you're, you're not interacting with people. You're going to interact with people. You're going to get dirty. People are going to be negative. They're going to be critical, but I'm saying when it happens, it has to be literally impossible for somebody to upset you or offend you. That has to be your choice though. See, in the moment, you're gonna have all the emotions. You're gonna consider firing away and pressing the detonator button when somebody comes at you with that. And in the moment, you've gotta realize it's my responsibility to not interact. It's my responsibility to diffuse the situation. And so when you get negativity, you gotta realize like, hey, it's negativity. I've got two choices. I can be negative back or I can make it to where I just don't get offended. And that's a choice. You've got to be logical rather than emotional. So for example, when I get a negative text or a negative email or a negative phone call, which it happens literally almost every day, my mindset is almost like I'm dealing with a child. Like they don't know what they're doing. They don't know why they're saying what they're saying. Like they're upset. I don't know why they're upset. They've got circumstances I don't know about. So it literally can't be their fault. I'm not going to be upset. Like I can't make it their fault. They're doing what they're doing. They're reacting to a situation in a way that seems logical to them and seems like it's pro, pro survival to them. Now, I know my ethics and I know that I'm not going to win by getting into it with them. I'm not gonna win by, by getting negative back, fighting back, arguing back. So if you go back through history, like if you were to look at all of the negative interactions I had, there was a distinct stop when I would retaliate and really let people have it versus I respond positively now. Even if the entire communication is negative, Let's say someone says, Jerry, you're an idiot. I'm going to say, hey, dude, thank you for being so concerned about my intelligence. You know what I mean? Like you're always going to do something positive back. So I want to encourage you because it's so easy to fall into. And it's about doing it for yourself. It's not about doing it for them. It's not about doing it because you're trying to impress somebody. It's not about doing it because it's the right thing. It's about doing it because you care about your condition and you know what you're capable of and you know what negativity will do if it poisons that. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Have a fantastic morning. I'll talk to you all soon. Like, share, subscribe.